Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the Aperture MC light. So I got this as a gift for Christmas and it's become one of my favorite photography and video accessories. So we thought we would start with a walkthrough of its functions and features and then we'll get into how I like to use it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so to turn it on, you just hit the switch on the side here. And then by default, I believe the screen will tell you what the white balance is, your intensity, and then your battery level. Now, one of the cool things that you can do with this light is you can actually change the white balance. So right now it's set at 5,500, but if you actually just turn the dial that's on the side here, you can change the white balance. So you can kind of see maybe that the light is getting warmer. And then if you turn it the other way, then the light will get cooler. So you can actually change the white balance of the light as well as the intensity or the brightness. So right now it's set at like 50%. And if you turn it, you can turn it all the way down. So actually, if I do that and then I go back, you can probably see it better. So you can see how the light's getting warmer. And then if I go this way, the light is getting a little bit cooler. And then if you change the brightness, you can go all the way up to 100%. So it's really, really bright. Or you can, again, just go all the way down. So you can change the brightness of it as well, of the light. And then if you hold down on the dial that's on the side here, if you just hold it down, you can also change the color. So if you go to HSI, you can actually play with the hue, the saturation, and the intensity. So if you just kind of, again, turn that dial, you can go kind of like pink. If I turn the intensity down, then you'll be able to hopefully see the color better. So if we just go to like, five or something so yeah right now it's kind of like a pretty magenta you can go to blue you can make it go green um so you can play around with the hue the saturation so right now it's at 100 percent. if i go all the way down to 20 it goes a little bit paler so you can play with the saturation and then of course we just played around with the intensity so you can go so it's not super bright um at like five six percent or you can go all the way up to a hundred percent which is what i had set it at last week in the video to kind of create some mood lighting you can also if you hold it down some more you have other options that you can play with so i haven't really played around with all of these other ones just the hs1 but i think it's maybe this one no um cct no that just goes back to your white balance this is where having the instruction manual is handy but i lost it oh yeah so you also have these other functions where you can do like paparazzi fireworks tv so you have these other ones that you can do these other um kind of lighting effects that you can do party i don't really play around with this one too much i mostly just play around with the um, HS1, HSI, sorry, um, where you're playing around with the color or the CCT just because you're changing around with the white balance, but it does have some cool features that you can play around with. So that's all done with just using the dial here. You then have that charging port. Um, you also have a screw at the bottom, which is really handy because then you can put it on a tripod and just maneuver it around as needed. So it's a very simple design, um, but it packs a lot of features. So to get into how I like to use the Aperture MC light, one of my favorite and like most common uses for this little guy is actually lighting my YouTube videos, my um, mini films and my photos. So it's straight up cumbersome to deal with like and set up my studio lighting, especially in my living room and my kitchen. So the fact that this guy is so small, I can stick it on a tripod and maneuver it around as needed is awesome. The first two videos that I actually filmed for January, I only used the Aperture Light to light myself and it actually did a pretty good job. Last week's video, I did have studio lighting and in today's video, I'm using studio lighting and it still does like a better job, but I think if you're in a tight space, maybe you're on the go or you're like in a hotel room where the lighting is really awful, I think this could go a long way, especially if you're not gonna bring your studio lighting with you. Of course, if you're on the go or you're in a hotel room, especially when I travel, I don't bring 
extra lighting equipment with me just because I really like to go for that portability compact um, setup. So this guy is so small and I think it's just like perfect for those as well. You know, when I'm trying to create those mini films that I've been working a lot on and learning more about creating films and videos, um, this has just been really helpful when it comes to lighting all of that. The other way that I've been experimenting with using the After MC light is for mood or background lighting. So in last week's video, um, what I did is I just kind of played around with the hue that you can set in the aperture light and I just popped it into my lamp that I have in my living room and it was just a fun way to add some color to the shot. I did notice when I was using it last week though that using it at 100% intensity like I did for about an hour and a half did make the light really, really hot to the touch. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind and that um, might want to use it at like a less of an intensity or for a less duration of time, especially if it's going to be going on at 100% intensity. But I just think that if you're in your living room or you're in a hotel room, having the after MC light set to like any of the many colors that you can literally set it to is just a fun way to add some mood lighting to the shot. Lastly, one of the reasons that I actually asked for the Aperture MC light for Christmas was because it's so lightweight and compact and I thought it would be great for impromptu photography around the house. So our house, it doesn't get a lot of natural light. So like our kitchen and our living room, the windows are on the west side of the house and then the bedroom windows face north. So like our dining room, the main bathroom, the bedrooms, they really actually don't get a lot of beautiful natural light. Today's a better day, especially in the fall time and winter, it's really dark in the house, but because the sun seems to be coming out a little bit more, it's actually pretty good. Like it's around two o'clock, I would say right now in the afternoon and the lighting is not bad in here. I do have the studio lighting set up, but it's not terrible. There is is like a house though on the other side of where we are and a pine tree so it actually blocks a lot of the lighting that we get in the house and so it's really really difficult I have to deal with a lot of like overhead lighting which isn't the greatest because it's very orange <laughs> and it's very orange you get a lot of shadows and I especially struggle in the kitchen I would love it if we had a little bit of a better natural lighting setup in the kitchen but we don't so I have to rely on either overhead lighting or using the after light to kind of create some better lighting in the kitchen when I'm trying to create any any films or take any photos in the kitchen and so I just thought that this guy because it was so small I was able to just kind of bring it around with me even if I'm going out I'm going to someone's house or anything like that I just thought having a portable light for photos or videos was going to be really helpful and so that's just one of the reasons why I wanted the aperture light is again just for portability and having that lighting set up so I've really been loving using the aperture MC light it's a great little photo and video accessory to have in your camera bag it really honestly takes no room at all it's so small and compact but it's so useful to have i reach for it every single time i'm creating a youtube video or i'm working on a mini film so if you're on the fence about getting the aperture light or maybe you received it for christmas and you don't really know what to do with it i really hope you found this video helpful if you did then hit that like button below and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video